So we're standing on the Harbour Front in St Ives this morning and we're looking at a very, very interesting place. Quite unique, quite unusual. It's nice and quiet here this morning. So the property we're looking at is an old pilchard press that has been turned into a small theatre. It's been sold on a commercial basis, however, it did have planning back in the early 2000s to be converted into a two bedroom cottage. So I'm sure that anybody would be able to apply again and uh, possibly get it granted back. Almost definitely I say get it granted back to another property. So the property is literally just off of this street. It's probably about 12 steps up. This is quite a nice view this morning looking across. Nice and quiet, not too many people about. Right, let's take a walk up to the to the property. Let's walk up this little cobbled slipway into Carnglaze Place and the property we're looking at is this here. There is a little door at the back there, which could be reinstated again, um, just at the back here, straight into the property. It's on two levels and full of character. So at the moment, it's the Boathouse Theatre and has been for around 20 years, just over 20 years. And again, originally an old an old boathouse, hence the boathouse theatre and a pilchard press. So we've got these lovely big with double doors that walk us into this super room. And as you can see, laid out as a small 30 people theatre. So currently we've got a small reception desk here. window to the side as I said we've got some really great features in here um, obviously from its old pilchard press history we've still got the exposed granite walls that have been painted white um, we've got this fantastic beam across here which is a remnant of the old pilchard press certainly some age in that I would say well over 150 years old perhaps even more um, I'd say probably the building dates back to early mid 1800s we've got this super red brick as well and if you know much about the red brick in St Ives you know that St Ives doesn't produce red brick this generally come on as ballast from ships so and and from the continent so possibly Holland Belgium France those kind of areas but you can see what I mean by unusual Here's a little stage area. So we've got a separate entrance here, which is, um, which takes us out into Conglaze Square, which is just a small little area, which takes you to an alleyway down to where we originally started the filming. So currently the property has a small WC. We wash down basin, there is a skylight in there. And as you can see, this, this great red brick still throughout the, the building, some brilliant wood features. And then up the stairs to Another room. Uh, I'll show you the wood in this room. So full up of props and costumes and puppets from the theatre days. But it's a decent sized room. 
got a little window to the side. We have sink up here, power, etc. So these old beams on the ceiling and this, this wood planking, I imagine it's probably from an old old ship or boat. Certainly has got the, the size of it. Um, and again, certainly some age. It's still got chalk drawings on and, and writing on from when the builders were building here. Some back to early sort of 1930s, but certainly I think the wood is a lot older than that. But that door that we looked at at the beginning does come up into this room here, so could be reinstated to have a separate entrance. Walk you down again. Just to take one last look at the main theatre from this angle. I really like this property. It's very, very rare that we come across something as unusual as this, as quirky as this, as interesting as this, with boundless possibilities. As I said, they did have, well, there was planning permission on it, sorry, for conversion into a two bedroom cottage, but that was in the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, it could be a number of uses. As I said, we, we're working on a commercial basis at the moment. So um, possibly another art gallery, art studio, if somebody wants to run a small theatre, um, the infrastructure's here. And it's very well known, has been running very successfully for those last 20 odd years. But it's full of character and it'd be a shame if somebody did come in and convert it to rip all that character out. I think keeping it is paramount to the benefit of the property. And just the location, which I said is out these doors here, which again, these old doors certainly have some age. Down the old cobbled slipway. Back out onto one of the most beautiful harbors. certainly in a country, possibly I would say in, in Europe. So for more information, please give us a call at Cross Estates and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks.